the latest on October 6th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. The only tropical cyclone active today is Tropical Storm Hagabis, which formed in the Western Pacific earlier today, got its name. Uh, it's the 70th storm that has formed so far in 2019, 21 off the average for a whole calendar year. Day 279 in the world, day 127 in the Atlantic, where it's all quiet for once. No storms active here, but there are two areas of interest in the open Atlantic. Day 144 in the Eastern Pacific, Invest 95E still exists and isn't doing anything at the moment. In the Western Pacific, Tropical Storm Hagabis is the only other thing that's going on around the whole world today, but that one could become a fearsome monster very soon. No systems are active in the Southern Hemisphere at this time, it's all quiet down there. So, Tropical Storm Hagabis, uh, we're putting it with winds of 45 miles per hour, pressure estimate of 993 millibars. It's slowly moving towards the Mariana Islands, 703 miles from Saipan, 14.6 north, 156.3 east. The storm's expected to move through the Mariana Islands, where a typhoon watch is currently in effect. It could be rapidly intensifying by that point as it moves through those northern Mariana Islands and then out into the Philippine Sea area. Category 4 peak possible, maybe even higher than that. 50% of models think it could reach Category 5 status, believe it or not. Here's how it's been looking on the satellite imagery with that shear graphic. Um, wind shear has been fairly low for the storm so far and that's going to remain the case. We're really not anticipating wind shear to increase above 15 knots. So that is very much on the low threshold um, and that's going to be the case at least for the next five days. That ain't going to be an issue for Hagabis. Wide shot of the Atlantic, you can see one or two little flare-ups occurring out in the open waters there. You can pretty much draw a line actually from the western tip of Cuba all the way out to the open Atlantic region. Uh, a lot of Saharan dust towards the east, further west will be the source of any development in the next five days. Gulf of Mexico, um, there's a little uh, thunderstorm activity going on there, mainly over the Yucatan, that was an area of interest not so long ago. Eastern Pacific, you can see Invest 95 E on top of all of that convection, uh, figuratively speaking, further towards the north there, starting to emerge out over the waters, away from that line of thunderstorms. Um, looking rather decent, actually, in recent frames, but uh, na uh, the National Hurricane Center have put chances extremely low. The Western Pacific, Hagabis is quite easy to spot. Uh, the only thing really going on in the whole ocean, actually. And you can see uh, its movement in relation to the Mariana Islands. Significant chances of tropical storm conditions on the northern Mariana Islands. In Guam, probably not so much unless it dives towards the south more than we're expecting. At the minute, we're not seeing that just yet. The Australia and South Pacific region, uh, there are some flare-ups occurring towards the east there. Looks like it's over Vanuatu. No, nope, that's way off to the east, actually. It's just north of Fiji. And over in the Indian Ocean, um, things looking fairly quiet. Well, there's been a few flare-ups over land mainly throughout the day today. Um, and further south, there's a few little thunderstorms in the equatorial regions. Nothing of a tropical cyclone nature though. Sea surface temperatures are still starting to simmer down in the eastern Pacific. Not many 30 degrees anymore. Uh, same too for the Gulf of Mexico. Western Caribbean remains very warm, 30 degrees plus. It's just waiting for a storm to tap into that energy. Let's hope not. You can still see quite clearly the cool trail from Lorenzo. I think the uh, eastern Atlantic is shut now for the year. And looking at the Indian Ocean, 29 to 30 degrees Celsius, we could yet see some cyclone activity in the Bay of Bengal in particular. Western Pacific, very warm still, South China Sea and the area where Hagabis is, is pretty much where it's at right now. Philippine Sea actually a little bit cooler than the area that Hagabis is over right now, mainly because there's been so much activity there this year. Here is the storm itself then on the latest imagery, um, starting with the infrared coming into the visible as the day went on there. Um, daylight has broken of course over the storm, that was some hours ago. It's looking pretty decent, starting to get more spin and also that convection is looking more apparent and clear. Good banding towards the southern side and we'll wait and see what happens with this. It could rapidly intensify at any stage. Looking at where we're at right now in the Atlantic, the next name on the list is on the naming list is Melissa. In the Eastern Pacific, we're still looking out for Octave. In the Central Pacific, the next name is Ima. 
Now that we've got Hagibis, the next name in the Western Pacific is Neoguri, and in the North Indian Ocean, we're still looking out for the next name on list 8, which is Kiar. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, Force 13, and subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can also find us on Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13 all in text, and you can get in touch with us on any of those mediums. That's all for now, as always, we'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description. 